Hi, good morning everyone. Um, I'm gonna be making my breakfast this morning and we're gonna sit down and have a little chat. Um, I'm gonna be making uh, some an omelet with a little bit of spinach, um, some bacon, <laughs> and my morning coffee. Um, yes, that is my staple breakfast. I've been following um, a ketogenic, low-carb diet since July of this year, and it has served me very well, and I probably will be keto, low-carb forever, um, but I've adapted it in my life, so I eat carbs here and there, birthdays, Christmas, Thanksgiving, and enjoy my life, but then my regular meals are all keto, low-carb. As a woman who is now in her 42nd year of life, I realize me and carbs, we are not friends and I cannot overindulge. Keto has done me good and I'm sticking with her. All right, so let's make some breakfast. One of the neatest tricks that I learned, probably everybody but me knows this, is I cook my bacon in the oven. So. Now I do line my tray with a bit of aluminum. It just makes the cleanup so easy. No oil is needed. Just pack your bacon. I am so in love with this bacon, y'all. I have tried other bacons and I just love this particular brand of bacon. Boris said it is so tasty. It has, it's, it's just right for me. It's just right for me. I tried other brands and I stay with what I like. Yeah. Okay. That's great. My bacon is nice and lined. I'm having three strips. Um, sometimes I have two, but most of the time I have three strips of bacon and I use two eggs to make my omelet. I have my water on the kettle for my tea. I had a little glass of wine last night. Still keto. <laughs> All right, so I am absolutely in love with this um, brand, okay? Um, Pasture raised Bio Farms. Now, I cook my eggs um, with olive oil. I know I could cook it butter. When I first started keto, I did cook it um, with butter, but I just prefer the taste of the olive oil, personally. Um, it's my preference. It's the oven is nice and warm. I'm about to pop in my bacon. In my omelet, I put onions and spinach. Um, I generally, since it's just me and my son, um, I pre-chop my onions and I save it in one of these little containers and it's ready every morning. I don't have to, you know, chop onions every morning. Who has time for that? And I just use a little bit, pop it back, Put it in the fridge, ready to go. I use wood spoons. My mother gave this to me. When she first gave it to me as a gift, when I, um, I was like, wood spoon? <laughs> I didn't know. And I don't even use my other ones. I just use my wood spoon. Do you guys have a wood spoon? I love using wood spoon. It, it just works really, really, really well. So I will always now use my wood spoon. I have a few of them and I just, I just love them. So my wood spoon. So, I pour my seasonings right in the pan as the onions and the spinach are cooking. I just find it works better that way. Um, growing up, I used to just put it in the eggs and then put everything in then, but um, more recently, I've just been putting the seasonings straight in the pan, and that works. Bustelo instant coffee. I've been using this for years. I love it, hands down. 
um, my own coffee. And more recently, since I've been keto for about uh, three, four months, I've been using vital peptide, um, no, vital protein collagen peptide in my coffee. Amazing. I have definitely seen the change in my nails. Um, I have definitely seen the change in my joints. Now that just may be because I dropped 25 pounds from keto. We'll talk about later. Um, but I've definitely seen an improvement and I'm going to be using this um, every morning. Um, I want to say forever, but we know forever is not forever. But um, for right now, I am hooked. I use um, just about one tablespoon, a full tablespoon of the Bustelo and one scoop of the collagen peptide. Um, the collagen peptide, it has a um, scooper in there, so you just use that. What I love a lot about um, this collagen peptide from Vital Protein now, granted, I've not tried any other brands and I probably won't try any other brands because I am that kind of person. Once I find something that I really like, I just have a tendency of sticking to it. Um, so, yeah. Um, but it has no taste. It's not chalky. I put the... Um, I put the coffee and the vital protein in first, and then I add my water. It completely dissolves. I've never had an issue with it clumping, and like I said, it has no taste. I think it also makes the um, coffee consistency a little creamier. I made coffee without it one day because it was like my second cup of coffee, and I only used one scoop. They say you can use like one to two scoops, but I only use one scoop. So when I made my second cup, I decided not to put it in, and I did see that it was just a little bit thinner, so I was like, hmm, and I like that. I love this tea kettle. I've had this tea kettle um, from Calflon. I, I might be pronouncing it wrong, but forgive me. I've had this tea kettle for at least about five years. I love it. It's very functional. It's very cute. I'm going to put two tablespoons of heavy cream. Once my egg is um, now in the pan, it looks really pretty. Uh, pop, pop, pop. Where is my pepper flake? I put some red, um, crushed red pepper flakes in there. I used to never cover my omelets when I made them and they never came out right. They were just like, oh my God. And I was watching another YouTube um, YouTuber and he covered the omelet. And I was like, covered the omelet? And it came out right. <laughs> I said, you know what? Let me try that the next time I'm making omelets. I'm going to cover my omelet. And it just came out so perfect. So now I make the best and the prettiest omelets because I cover the pan. I take my vitamins out so that I don't forget to take it. I just take one multivitamin. Um, it's the Alive Woman's Ultra Potency. Okay, so breakfast is done. Let me give you guys a little shot as far as what breakfast is. Oh, is it getting it? So I have my eggs right there, and I have my bacon, okay? And I have my coffee right here, and a glass of water. Um, every morning, I try to go ahead and have um, a full glass of water um, with my meals. Uh, coffee can be, a, not can be, but coffee um, has diuretic properties, um, meaning that it causes you to lose, I forgot my hot sauce. Hey, one minute. Can't forget the hot sauce, y'all. <laughs> Sorry, my hot sauce. Cannot forget the hot sauce. I 
has diuretic properties, meaning it makes you pee. And so you lose a lot of water. Um, so in the morning, when I drink my cup of coffee, I always have a tall glass of water with it to kind of um, balance things out and help me with my water consumption. I haven't always been um, good. So let's talk, y'all. Let's talk. Let's talk. So in my intro, I um, kind of gave a little introduction. Now, my name is Kareen. I'm a nurse practitioner. I live in Brooklyn, Brooklyn, New York. Um, I have one child, and I'm going to talk about, you know, my son in this video. Um, I, I don't know if I'm going to kind of include him in my videos. Well, yeah, I will. <laughs> He's adorable. Um, but my son is also one of the reasons why I was like, I want to make a YouTube um, channel. My son has special needs. Now, before I had my son, I really, you know, when we say special needs, I'm like, what, what does that mean? Because, you know, I've, I've just, you know, development disabled or autistic or, you know, whatsoever, um, a host of different diagnoses. Um, but my son was born with a hole in his head and found that out when I was three months pregnant. Long ordeal. I'm going to save that for a different, um, for a much more dedicated video because it was so devastating learning that and going through that process. And now Maddie is six years old. Definitely has been a journey, still a journey. Um, if you hear the steam in the background, that's just my, um, the heat coming up. But that has been something that I really wanted to create a platform to reach out to other, other parents um, and caregivers that have a special needs child. Um, and then just kind of share my experience and also share some resources. So we'll be doing that on this channel too. Mm. But yeah, what was that I forgot. I have to start writing things down. But I did. I did actually write some stuff down that I wanted to cover for this video. So my name is Kareen. I live in Brooklyn. I'm a nurse practitioner. Yeah. So that's definitely gonna be um, a big, not a big theme, but one theme in um, my videos. I love. I absolutely love what I do. It's primary care, outpatient. And I love educating patients. I love, you know, seeing patients. But we do have chronic themes, diabetes, hypertension, kidney disease. So that's also some things that I will be discussing on this channel. Um, now being keto, I have um, a couple of different um, perspectives. And, you know, doing my research on keto, you know, I think that eating keto a low carb diet, not I think, eating keto a low carb diet definitely, you know, is something that I have been recommending to a lot of my patients, um, specifically, you know, my diabetic patients, um, trying to get them to adopt a more low carb diet. Fortunately, we have um, nutritionists uh, specialties available. So I do send them um, to see the nutritionist as well. Um, but in counseling them, I definitely talk about, you know, how food affects the body and, you know, what foods to kind of limit and what foods to incorporate more. So I will have that type of um, discussion. Um, and then one topic um, that is also going to be in this channel is I've always wanted to write a book. Um, and I have a few topics in mind. And one of the reasons that I started this channel was also to make myself more accountable this year to actually start this book. So I'm hoping that having this platform and putting it out there um, holds me accountable um, to actually doing it. So that's one of the plans that I have moving forward. So that is definitely something I'm going to be doing this year. 
those eggs were so good. Now for my bacon, bacon, my bacon. Mm. Since I am keto, <laughs> since I am keto, um, we will be doing what I eat in a day video, and I will be sharing my keto weight loss journey. Now, I am now, I said before, I am 42 years of age. Um, I have never, never, ever been skinny. I've been slim, but I've never been skinny. Um, I'm from Haiti. I came um, to um, America when I was about five. And from my earliest memories, I've always been a big girl. <laughs> and so I never was self-conscious about my weight up until I went to high school. And um, when I went to high school, of course, you know, you have um, peer pressure, you have um, more exposure. And during high school is when I was more, I would say body conscious, but thankfully I had some really good friends. I, I, to this day we're you know, we're still friends. I think had I not had the set of friends that I did in high school, I may have been even more body conscious, you know, but anyway, so in high school, um, that's when I started, you know, cereal dieting and especially going into college. Um, I think I was around 150, 160 around that time. I don't remember because I don't quite remember ever the, the number, but I know that I was, um, overweight. Okay. But I went to Russell Sage and that was an all female college. And, you know, that was also quite intimidating because you're seeing, um, different, um, different body types and again, getting into boys and I became more and more conscious of my weight and, um, became a serial dieter. Um, fortunately in my, I think it was my sophomore year, um, I enlisted in the Army Reserves when I went to boot camp, and I, I, I didn't lean out, but I definitely lost um, some fat, and I was still around the 150s, 155s, and for the most part, I stayed that way. So in college, I was um, between 150 and 160. I'm 5'5", five five, um, for reference. So that's not skinny, but that's definitely, you know, um, not obese or morbid obese. And I stayed that weight for, um, quite some time. Um, but still I worked out, I watched what I ate. Um, I wasn't heavily, heavily, you know, dieting, but I definitely was body conscious. Um, in my twenties, I was just all over the place, you know, partying and in Brooklyn, you know, um, Caribbean vibes. And it was just so, the twenties were a blur, yo. It was a blur, <laughs> and I had so much fun living my twenties. Um, but my twenties, I still stayed around the one fifty to one sixty, fluctuating here and there. You know, partying, drinking, eating late night. Um, but I never went above one seventy. And into my thirties, I stayed that way. Um, and thirty six, I had my son. I think when I had my son, I was um, 145 pounds because right um, before having Maddie, I did lose some weight because I had um, I had noticed that I was gaining weight and I was like, oh God, I need to do something. So I had started juicing, working out, and I had lost about 10 pounds before I had my son Matthew, so I was about 145 pounds. Mmm, this bacon is so good. Mmm, mmm, forgive me. So I was about 145 pounds and when I say I put on some weight y'all I put on some weight at delivery I was 220 pounds 220 pounds when I went um, I had a c-section um, because of some of the medical issues that Maddie had we'll talk about that in another video um, I had a c-section and um, so that also was a trying time as far as weight is concerned. And I had some, some, um, 
I wouldn't say issues, but my, my milk didn't come on that easy. So um, there was no latching. So I, I didn't do the breastfeeding. I pumped. Oh, girl, it was, it was an ordeal. Um, but one of the things is I kind of um, lost myself in caring for my son. And the weight just, po after delivery, the weight just didn't go anywhere. I dropped down to, no, that's not true. I dropped down to when my son was, right before I went back to work, I, I, um, I took maternity leave for about, I want to say four months, four or five months. It might've been longer. It might've been six. Um, and cause he had some complications. So I kind of extended that as far, as long as I could. Um, was it six? No, it wasn't. Maddie was like, yeah, six months. <laughs> Very nice. So I took a six months maternity leave. And, um, when I was going back to work, I remember weighing myself and I was 190 baby born. So I went back to work and the weight didn't go anywhere. The weight did not go anywhere. And, um, I had also at that time, um, finished school became a nurse practitioner. I'm also going to be talking about my life as a registered nurse and my life as a nurse practitioner, different perspectives. I am, I love nursing. Hey nurses, hope I have some nurses out there. And being a nurse practitioner, I have a different perspective, but I am a ride or die nurse. <laughs> so anyway, back to my weight. So I started a new job um, after Matthew was a year. Me and Matthew's dad, we separated. Girl, that was another, you know, that was another life ordeal. See, this is why I have a YouTube channel. There's so many stories. Me and my, uh, Matthew's dad separated and I was on my own single. <laughs> Moved into um, a new apartment and starting a new job and had a child with disabilities and you know, that whole time that says, I, you know, I don't have time to be depressed. I was depressed, y'all. I was depressed. I was depressed and I was eating my depression. And by the second year at my new job, I was back to two, I was at 210. 10 pounds lighter than I was at nine months pregnant. And here, my son is now three. So I, needless to say, I worked out, I restricted my diet, I went on the Omni Drops diet, and I yo-yoed, and the lowest that I had ever gotten was to 180. And so it has been in a, a journey as far as trying to get my weight um, down. Mm. Piece of bacon chop. I'll get it later. But... Weight has definitely been a common theme in my life. Um, and from quarantine, I don't know if it's from quarantine, I was just eating too much. I realized this July, July um, 2020, for my brother's wedding, I had bought this dress that was a size 12, <laughs> which is the size that I thought I was, I still was unbeknownst to me I was no longer a size 12. my clothes that I wore every day um had the fabric apparently had given some stretch and I was still able to wear them but clearly I was not that size anymore and when I put the dress on like a week before the wedding it would it wouldn't zip it would not zip and I stepped on the scale and I was back to 205 pounds. Oh, that was that was not a pretty point. I was 205 pounds. And I had I had avoided the scale for a while. I knew I was creeping up. I, I knew I was creeping up. But to be back in the 200s, I was like, I have to try something different. And in came keto. <laughs> I was looking online viewing YouTube um, videos and you know keto kept on coming up keto keto this keto that keto this keto that and I decided let me give this a try and and I had made a conscious decision to do more um, 
cleanish, cleanish, <laughs> cleanish keto. Um, and I don't eat red meat. Um, I it just bothers my stomach, and so that's not something that. I wanted to kind of introduce back into my diet. Yeah, I can't tell you the last time that I had a steak, um, oxtail, can't tell you the last time that I had that, um, years, years. And so I primarily get my protein, um, eggs, chicken, um, uh, what you call it, eggs, chicken, and salmon. Those are the three um, types of um, proteins that I eat, and I just kind of rotate it, and shrimp, and I just rotate it. So eggs, chicken, salmon, and shrimp. And so I just kind of kept it very simple, and as of today, this morning, <laughs> before getting up to film this lovely um, video, I was, I am, um, 180 pounds. Um, so my goal is actually to get to um, 170, 165. I actually like a little, you know, little fluff here. That's my goal right now, 165, 170. My goal actually, when I first started, was 175. So the number did come down a little bit as I've gotten closer to that 175. I kind of reset the goal to 165, um, 170. And I'm going to share that <laughs> with you guys because it has definitely um, changed. It, it's a game changer. Um, I have, you know, because Thanksgiving passed, Christmas passed, my birthday passed. And yes, y'all, I had cake. I had, you know, rice. I had black rice. I'm Haitian. Um, and I didn't really quite like how I felt the next day after eating um, a more carb heavy diet and when I did eat those um, heavier carb diet um, it wouldn't be like the whole day like I'm just gonna just go balls crazy now it would just be like that dinner I ate carbs um, but breakfast would have just been the same um, I don't do intermittent fasting um, when I first started I did intermittent fasting I did the um, I ate my my window was eight and then fasted for 16 um, I was getting lightheaded and I was like you know what this is probably too much for my body all at once um, so what I do is which is not I don't do it intentionally saying that I'm fasting um, but I do have a tendency that my last meal is at six now I eat my breakfast um, around um, 7 7 30 before uh, and I and I do that Monday, Tuesday, you know, Monday, um, every day. Um, the weekends is probably a little bit later. When my, um, my son is with me, um, I eat early because he wakes up early, and so we just get an early start. Um, but for the most part, I start eating my breakfast, my first meal between seven or eight. Um, on a lazy weekend, I probably will eat my breakfast nine or ten. Um, and my, I, I really only eat two meals, so I'll eat my breakfast and then I'll have um, my lunch, dinner, or my second meal um, at about two. Um, that goes for when I'm at work too, it just, just plays out like that. Um, and I'll have, you know, um, two snacks in between. So between the, the eight, to two I'll probably have some almonds um, and that's one of my things that I just love to snack on and I do count the almonds because they, they do add up um, so I'll have like maybe about 20 ounces um, 20 pieces of almonds that'll be my snack if I'm hungry um, that's one of the things that with this keto diet I have I do not know where my appetite is my appetite is like God like I might feel for something but I'm not like <sighs> you know, mad hungry anymore. That's been a very nice um, effect of this diet. I am not, I don't get hangry. I really don't. I used to get hangry a lot, <laughs> but I do not get hangry. Um, I, I might feel for something and say, you know what, um, it's time to eat, but it's not where my stomach is rumbling and I'm like, ah, oh. but you know, definitely um, at about two, latest three, I know it's time to eat something and that's been my life since July and I absolutely, absolutely 
love it and that is something that I will be sharing my experience um, um, with keto um, definitely on this channel um, and yeah um, not much workouts can be on this video. I do I do work out, um, but it's not where it's high intensity or something that I'm like, oh, let me film my workout. Um, I do abs and some calisthenics, and sometimes I'll hop on my bike. That's it, y'all. That is it. So there's not going to be much of working out piece. I won't be doing a lot of hair videos. Um, I'm not, you know, that great at it. Um, I might throw one or two hair videos, you know, just to show the products that I use, but this is by far not um, a natural hair um, channel, but because it is my life through my eyes, I will include a couple of videos here and there. Um, so I'm going to wrap it right here and I will see you at my next video. Okay. Have a lovely week um, and stay safe. Bye-bye.